ദൈവാധീനം കൊണ്ട് ഇതൊന്നും സംഭവിച്ചിട്ടില്ല Hello friends in this video i will narrate explanation of one of the best indian superhero movie meenal murli the movie starts with a man smoking a cigarette who threw it near a firecracker shop while on the other hand a play talking about the victory of good over evil was going on besides it meanwhile in the chaos of the carnival a father was teaching his son to live his life with honesty and if there is evil in this world then with evil the good also exists but then viewers see that the fire that lit up in the firecracker shop because of the cigarette starts to explode and the fire spreads everywhere the people acting in the play were trapped in the fire but the superhero in the play was still helping others without caring about himself and a kid lying in the distance is watching him then we see the movie logo and the scenes from the present on the tv we can see two people are talking that today a rare incident is going to happen which takes place when planets mars saturn and jupiter are aligned in the same magnetic field and because of which lightning can be experienced only once in 700 years and that day is today and there we can see a man whose name is shubhu who is poor and works in a tea stall and where we see his tea stall we can see a police officer sitting there keeping an eye on his daughter because for a long time a guy named Jason is teasing his daughter and he is waiting there today to catch him red handed Jason has already applied for a passport and he wants to go to America as soon as possible and wants to earn a lot of money and come back to marry Bincy the daughter of the police officer Jason comes to meet her every Thursday at 5 pm because at that time Bincy has to catch her bus when he shows up first of all the police officer slaps him hard and tells him not to see her again he says my daughter's marriage is fixed with someone else so don't dare to come here again meantime shubhu asked his father why he is making so many crackers and warned that if they catch fire the house will explode shubhu gets to know that his childhood love usha has come back to the village and so he takes out a small boat and wears the same childhood red sweater and leaves with all his heart Meanwhile we can see Jason this time outside Bincy's house on the occasion of Christmas wearing Santa Claus dress and entertaining the children seeing an opportunity he silently enters the house and meets Bincy and asks her what is wrong with her and who is she marrying that Avinash who doesn't even know what he wants to do in the future Jason argues and he doesn't even look good at least i look smart and anyway i'm going to america and will earn a lot of money go tell your father in the middle of the conversation her father reaches home to save himself from her father he hides under the bed then her father says to her that he has chosen anish for her he is the best in the village and also the richest and his business is also running quite well now when one side shibu is looking at usha and wearing the red sweater on the other side jason is looking at his love bincy and also wearing a red jacket but he couldn't see bincy with anish so he starts to fight then baiju comes there and points a gun at him then there comes a twist in the story a lightning strikes jason first and then shibu whereas people think baiju shot jason with a bullet and killed him but they found out that the gun was empty and took jason to the hospital the next day jason's sister gives him jewelry to sell and make money for going to america the next day he goes to meet his best friend whose name is bruce lee because she is passionate about karate and she also teaches karate to the village kids bruce lee is the one who is helping jason in making the passport then suddenly jason started coughing when he puts his hand in the mouth some weird weird grey coloured slime came out of his mouth The next day we can see Usha who came to live with her brother but at that moment because of heavy rainfall she went to a nearby shop to have tea but it is the same tea shop where Shibu works but the owner of the tea stall starts to look at her inappropriately and tells her that a child without her father faces a lot of difficulties like school expenses household expenses and if she wanted he can help her however Shibu listens to everything while standing there but suddenly he also starts to cough and the same third 
normal paste comes out of his mouth. Meanwhile, Jason's brother-in-law learns about the jewelry and starts beating his wife. When Jason comes to stop his brother-in-law, but Jason pushed him and we can see that his brother-in-law flew away to a distance and fell into the well as if the Superman had punched him in the face. After that, we can see that Shubu tries to pull a glass to have water and the glass starts to move, where he gets a hint of his power and realizes that he can telepathically fly things around him. The next day, when Usha again comes to the tea stall, the owner starts to annoy her by saying things like, come with me, marry me, I can make your life beautiful again. But Usha left the shop without saying anything. But this time, Shubhu couldn't take it. He uses his power and hangs him in mid-air and said, if you even think about her, I will kill you. His owner starts to plead in front of him and says, leave me. I will not do anything anymore. Then Shibu threatens him that if he says a word about this incident to any villagers or police, he will kill him too. Whereas, we can see that Usha's brother, Dasan, is talking about her marriage to a rich man in the village because that rich man has helped Dasan many times. Later, Shubhu and Usha were just talking. Then suddenly, Usha's daughter felt sicker and they both take her to the hospital. Then the scene shifts to Jason, whose passport verification gets cancelled. To check what happened, he reached the police station with his father and tells Baiju that why are you taking revenge on me because of your daughter? Then Baiju says that your father's name in the school certificate doesn't match the father's name in the passport. Then Jason argues when suddenly his father stops him and says, this is my mistake and tells, your biological father died in a fire in the carnival but he helped a lot of people before he died and asked me to take care of you. I took care of you from that day and I didn't tell you the truth so that you don't feel bad and stop calling me father. Meanwhile, Shibu reaches the village bank and breaks the locks and steals all the money and jewellery and goes to the hospital where he is about to pay the bill when the receptionist says that the bill was already paid by Dasan. Then we get to know that the money Dasan gets to treat his niece was Jason's money, which he got after selling his sister's jewellery and was saving for the passport. On the other hand, Jason wants to take revenge of his father's insult from Baiju and other police officers. Then Josemon helps him by saying that superheroes always fight wearing costumes so why don't you do that and the same evening he wears a costume and beats the hell out of the police officers and after beating them he left writing his name as Meenal Murli. The next day police suspect that the theft and the attack on the police were done by the same person while Shibu and Jason come to know each other's existence. At the same time Jason finds about the stolen money and blames and insults Dasan for it in front of whole village. Then Shibu offers help to Dasan at night and speaks about his love for Usha. But Dasan instead insults him. Angry Shibu, knowing that Dasan will be a bone in the throat, sets his house on fire wearing a mask. In the morning, people suspect Jason of taking revenge on Dasan. So Jason was about to show the CCTV footage to the police when Shibu wearing the same mask enters and runs with the footage. Jason follows him as Meenal Murli and they have a long run. Till now, neither Shibu knows that the person chasing him is Jason nor Jason knows it is Shibu. Still, there was quite a fight between them on a bus and while he was busy saving the bus, Shibu runs away. The next day, Shibu goes to the hospital for his treatment. There he gets to know that a person was struck by lightning and when his temperature was checked, the machine got broken. It was like there was a high voltage of current flowing inside his body. When Shibu checks the record of the hospital, he finds out that the other person is Jason. Meanwhile, Jason held Shibu's collar while chasing him. It came out of his shirt and Jason's name was printed on it. It means it was stitched in Jason's shop. When he checks the records of the shop, he finds out that it was bought by Shibu. That means now both of them know each other. Shibu and Jason meet each other alone and Shibu said that he knows that Jason is the other one who also got powers because of the rare incident. Jason tells him that he stole the money from the bank but the police are searching him and you killed him. You are evil. Then Shibu said that I only love Usha. Once I will get married to Usha, I will leave the village. Neither I will create any problem for you nor I will come back to the village. In the middle of the conversation, suddenly from the distance, the police and some villagers start to come towards them to get Meenal Murli. They both are confused as for whom they are coming. Then Shibu sees his owner with the police, so he asks Jason to go back and say that this time the police have come for him. There Shibu beats the police and villagers with matter manipulating powers. Whereas one group of police is fighting with Shibu, the other group of police, where Jason's brother-in-law is included, found out that the one who beat the policeman 
Batman with the bird costume was Jason, the original Meenal Murli. They put him in jail. In the night, all the villagers decided to kill Shibu and gathered near his house with fire torches. But when he reaches his house, after saving his life from the villagers, he finds Usha and her daughter in his house. Well, this is the first time when finally Shibu gets his love, Usha, and his childhood love is completed. Since Usha's daughter was well now, as she got all her money for her treatment and the credit was all Shibu's, but he asks them to stay inside the house as the villagers came to kill Shibu. He came out alone to fight them. Them. The villagers start to throw the fire towards him, but Shubu flies them away in the air by using his matter manipulation power. But a torch enters his house and the crackers that the father had made catch fire and in front of his eyes, the whole house explodes. And in the fire, both Usha and her daughter die. Shibu runs towards the house to save them, but again, another blast happens and everything is finished. The villagers think that Shubu died, so they left from them. But viewers can see him alive in the next scene, who is burning in anger that when the love he was waiting for his whole life was finally with him, the villagers misunderstood him and tried to kill him and kill his wife and daughter. Shibu decided that he will burn the whole village into ashes. After that, we can see a scene of a carnival where Shibu was wearing the scarecrow dress and he took all the villagers as hostages inside the carnival. He starts to light fire everywhere using the firecrackers. He planted blasts everywhere. The whole village is shaken because of the blasts. Whenever some police come to help them, Shibu throws them away. No one could save them. Then Baiju realizes that there was another superhero in the village who can only save the village from Shibu. And he directly goes to Jason and says that only you can save us now. You are our last hope. Please save all of us from him. After that, we can see a flashback related to the story. It is from the time when Jason's father reached in the play as a superhero and his character is called Meenal Murli. It was a character who always stands for people's goodwill and honesty and now when all villagers are in trouble, he let that character breathe inside him and Meenal Murli is back. Then we get to see one of the best fight of the movie with a quite impressive CGI, graphics and visual effects. They try to defeat each other with their supernatural powers, where Jason possesses superhuman strength and Shibu has telephonic powers and matter manipulation power, with the help of which he throws a javelin towards Jason. At first, Jason was seen to be losing the fight but then he remembers the rare incidents that takes place once in 700 years, because of which if I have gained the power and so has he. This means the things Shubu can do, I can also do this. And after that, he uses his super strength and telepathy and gives the ultimate blow and kills Shibu. And with this, big trouble ends and everybody is safe. Then we can see, some days after the incident, Jason who wanted to go to America drops the plan. Now he is ready to protect the village. And this beautiful story ends here.